Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Tunes. My name's Errol, let's get right to it. Before you start, as always, make sure you have your pencil, make sure you have an eraser, and make sure that you have an ink pen. Since we drew a cat last week, I figured this week we draw a mouse. Here we go. Let's start off, we're gonna draw a circle, and the circle's probably gonna be as big as a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger. It depends on how big you want your mouse. Okay, nice and light because we got to erase these lines. That's going to be the body. After we draw that, we're going to draw a head, and the head's going to go on top. And we're just going to draw a circle here. And then we're going to draw the nose, and the nose is going to be an oval. It's going to be right here, or you can put it a little higher. It really just kind of depends on what you want it to look like. And then we're going to put a little circle on the end. That's going to be his nose, too. Now, for the ears, usually when we think of a mouse, we tend to think of Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse has really big, round ears. I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm going to do something kind of right in between. I'm going to draw ears here and then some ears here. Now, we don't want to draw Mickey Mouse because, well, that's Disney. We want to draw something that's yours. Okay. Now, below, we're going to draw two more circles. We're going to draw one here. This is going to be the upper part of his leg. And then we're going to draw another one here. And this one's going to cross over the front line like this. Now, what's going on here is that this line right here, we're going to erase that completely. And the body is actually going to go over the top of that circle. But for right now, let's go ahead and put that in there so we have it kind of matches up with the other leg. Okay, and then we're going to draw two little ovals here. And I'm sorry I'm moving so fast here because last time my video ran extremely long, so we want to try to do a little quicker this time. Now for the arms, or the legs, or the front legs, or however you want to look at it, we can do a couple different things here. Um, we can draw the legs kind of down like we did with the cat. Um, or we can give them a little bit more character and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw you know a circle here and a circle here so that's like his arm we can do the same thing here we'll draw a circle here and a circle here now it really this is one of those things that depending on what you want your character to look like you know you're going to have to kind of make your own decision if you want to draw the circles down here, you can do that. For me, I'm going to put them here, give it a little bit more character. We're going to we're going to kind of step outside the box a little bit here. Okay, for the tail, the tail is easy. We're just going to draw a line, a squiggly line, like a letter S. Then we're going to do the same thing in return. Now you can just leave that line like it is, or you can make it a little thicker. Now keep in mind that if you make it really thick, it's going to look like a rat because rats have big, thick tails. Okay, if you had any trouble keeping up with me on that, go back and go through this video a little bit slower. But for right now, let's go ahead and ink this in and let's see what, it, we, can, what we can make this look like. Okay, as I always say, we want to start with things that are the closest to us because when we draw to the other side, there's going to be things overlapping. So let's go ahead and start with the ears. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this ear up around and down and I'm going to leave it open right here. It'll just look better that way. Okay, so we'll go up, around, and down and stop. Don't close it off. Then we're going to draw the head, which is going to be the next closest thing to us. We're going to bring it down and we're going to stop right there on the nose. Don't draw over the nose or you'll cut his nose off. Go around, down, and stop. Okay, now for the back side of the head, we're going to go around and stop about halfway down. Don't cut his neck off. Like that. Now, let's, for the, let's go ahead and finish the nose. For the nose, we're going to come up and we'll go around and we're going to stop here. We're not going to cut this part off here. So we'll go around, down, and stop. Stop. 
Okay, and then we'll bring his head down a little bit, really short and sweet. Now for the nose, go ahead and draw, you know, a nose in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a second little line right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to represent the other lips. So if this were your mouth, for the mouse, that's his left lip. And then we're going to draw a second lip like this. Okay, after we do that, let's go ahead and draw the other ear. Now, let's think about this for a second. We saw this whole ear because it's on this side of the mouse, but on this ear, it's going to be mostly on the other side of his head. So we're only going to draw a small portion of it. Whatever you do, don't draw through here or you're going to draw over his head and it's going to look silly. So we'll go around and down and stop here. Now, something else I'm going to do with this ear here is I'm going to draw a second line on the inside. And what that'll do is it'll kind of give it the impression of an ear, which is something they don't do with Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is just solid. Alrighty. Now, this is where things get a little bit complicated. For the arms, we have an oval here, we have an oval here. We like to draw body parts in ovals. If I were to draw my hand, we would draw several ovals to represent each joint. So what I've done here is we have an oval here, that's going to be his upper arm, and then this is going to be his forearm. But I don't want to draw full ovals here, so what I want to do is we're going to come around, stop there where the first oval would be, and then I'm going to draw the rest of that under our oval, like this. I'm going to do the same thing here. We'll draw the top part of the oval, and then down, but I'm going to be very careful not to draw on here, because I don't want to cut off his arm like that. Now this is the beauty of cartooning is that we use shapes to create this but the shapes helped us define what that arm is going to look like, how big it's going to be, what position it's going to be. If we had to draw this mouse running we would really rely on these shapes. It would make things so much easier. Okay, same thing here. We're going to bring this over and down. And we're going to do the same thing here. Right there and down. Now, let's draw his hands. Now let's talk about hands for a second. There's a lot of different ways we could draw a mouse's hands. Now you think about a real mouse. The real mouse has kind of long fingers and pointy, I don't know, nails. All I'm going to do with this, this hand here, I'm just going to kind of just Three little things. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what to call this. Kind of like if you think about um, the frog that we drew, we used those jagged edges to create his feet. I'm going to do the same thing here. And those look a lot like mouse hands to me. And I think that I think I'm going to go with that. Now for his legs, we're going to draw the front part of his leg down to his foot and stop. Same thing in the back. We're going to draw around and stop. You don't want to go through here all the way. You don't want to cut his foot off. We'll go around and stop. Now, for his foot, because it's the closest thing to us, we're going to draw an oval. And the oval is going to go out, around, and back up again. And again, we don't want to draw this line here because we, you know, we want to have that open because that's going to represent his foot. If we, if we were to close this, the next thing you know, his foot would be cut off. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to draw an oval and up. Now you'll notice that this side of the oval is shorter than this side. That's because that's his heel. It's the back side. Think of your own foot. It comes down and the long part of the foot is in the front. Okay. Now for his body, we're going to bring this around and down and stop. Now when I say stop, let's look at this really closely. We're going to come around, down, and stop right about here. Just right over the foot. Because that's going to be his tummy. See what I mean? 
Okay, now his other leg is going to do the same thing. It's going to go around, down, and just like we did over here, we're going to stop at the foot. Don't want to go all the way through. We don't want to draw this line here. We want to have something that looks like his other leg. Like that. And then the same thing that we did here, how we drew this oval, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to draw an oval and around. Now with this foot, we can bring this one in just a little bit. Okay, now let's draw his toes, and just like we did with the cat, I believe, we'll draw one, two, three, one, two, three. And that kind of gives him little toes. This is kind of a fat, fat mouse. It almost looks like a, a rat, doesn't it? Okay, and then let's go ahead and draw this tail in. We're just going to bring it down. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make it any thicker. Because if you make it thicker, like I said, it's going to look like a rat. I, I really don't want to. I don't want a rat. Okay. Let's talk about the eyes. Just like always, you can do whatever you like with the eyes. You can draw two little dots. You can draw two little lines. And I'm going to do my standard thing that I like to do. I'm going to draw a circle and another circle, and then the two eyeballs. And then maybe some eyebrows, give them a little bit of character. Now right now, it looks kind of like a dog if you look at it closely because it's got that big old snoot on there. What are we going to do to make him look like a mouse? Well, think about a mouse and what a mouse has that really, really distinguishes it. It's those big whiskers. So we're going to draw three quick lines on either side of the nose. One, two, three. One, two, three. And maybe I got carried away. Those lines look a little big, but yeah, oh well. Okay, now, something we can do that we haven't talked about before is if you want to make him smile, or you want to make him frown, or you want to make him have teeth, the way you do that is at the bottom of the mouth, you just continue to bring it up. Like this. I'm going to, well, we'll, make, we'll give him a little bit of smile here. And that's it. It's very simple to do. Okay, I'm going to keep this lesson very short. We're going to draw one character today. Most of the other lessons I've drawn two characters, but this one is pretty hard to draw. So I'm hoping that what you'll do is you'll go back and you'll look at it a couple times and you'll try to figure it out. While we're at it, let's go ahead and kind of add some character stuff here. Maybe a piece of cheese. Put the ground behind him. And got little pieces of cheese around him. Okay, and as is the case, when we're done drawing it, we're going to take our lines and just going to erase them. And that will hopefully give us some mass. I had to cut him out here so we can see him a little bit better. Okay, and there's our mouse. Now, as I said before, you can do all kinds of different mice, and there's all kinds of different ways to draw them just based on how you arrange these shapes. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see a particular animal drawn or a lesson based on that animal, let me know. Tell me what you'd like to see drawn. And most of all, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It makes things so much easier for me, and I get to get these videos out to so many people after I get a lot of subscriptions. So please subscribe if you can, and go ahead and like it too. That puts me at the top of the search results. Again, this is Arrow. Thanks so much for visiting Simple Tunes.